outside BS. The, well, BDS doesn't advocate for boycotting individuals. Um, and I think this is an example of the murky grounds here, right? Um, uh, when I was in Oxford, there was an Oxford professor who refused to accept a PhD student from Israel um, on the grounds of BDS, right? Citing BDS, and of course, uh, and um, and you can you can think about you know myself, right? Uh, formerly from Israel and not being um, interviewed for for a job, etc. Because of that, on the grounds of BDS, and I realize that formally uh, the BDS movement tries to set the boundaries between uh, those two. But in, in, in actuality, um, I, I think the rounds are blurred. Let me just give you an example from here. Um, I was asked if I had ideas for international collaboration between the University of Sussex and other universities abroad. And I happened to teach on the uh, uh, international program at Tel Aviv University, which, by the way, teaches a lot on the occupation, far more radical than what you have here. Uh, you have people like Yael Gross and, and, and further on. And that's what people would, you know, this is not a, 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 an Israel propaganda program. Um, and the University of Sussex said, no, no, we, we don't want to go there. It's too complicated. So not formally, um, <coughs> citing BDS, but I think my point is somewhere where even when institutions or local, local councils etc., don't uh, take on themselves BDS obligations explicitly, <coughs> I think uh, what you see sometimes is uh, it's implicitly kind of ingrained in their practices, for better or for worse. I had a small conversation on this with uh, Michael, kind of hallway conversation about this, and my reservations were at the same time that the University of Sussex decided not to have a program uh, with Israel. Uh, we started, the law school started a program in Qatar, uh, is pretty much knocking on the door into China. Uh, there's no problem there, uh, but, but Israel's a problem. So I'm not saying that. So for the record, because I have my admissions here. <laughs> <laughs> a, few, yeah, a, few year, a few years ago, I had a, a borderline applicant. So, you know, I go through the personal statements. Do we make an offer on this board? An applicant was you know, speaking, speaking himself up by reference to his ex the experiences he, he gained serving in the IDF, you know. Yeah. I said, like, oh, you're, I definitely need you here. You need to come to Sussex. <laughs> you know? I you want you to come here. <laughs> so, so that's, yeah, that's a change religion. Uh, but what happened in Oxford and what happens here, that's called practice, is that an application gets Come round, comes around to me, and I say, "Well, I, am I willing to accept it?" And I, th if I suggest that that person would be rejected, so I would not accept the application, then the powers that be send him a, a rejection and say, "Sorry, we won't have you." So the, there's an institution, but at the end of the day, there are people making decisions. The people are the economics themselves, and that's what happened in Oxford, and that's what happened here as well. So sorry, just mm -hmm. a clarification. So, I mean, basically, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm quite sure what you're. The point that you're actually making are you making the point that uh, i'm oh, saying that the, i know that the biggest movement is, is pro, you know. pro, predominantly about, in, about institutions yeah. but in effect is often about individuals as yeah well. in practice yes yeah i mean i think that's true so first no i mean I it, it has an impact on individuals that's the reality of bds and it has a negative impact and it can um, really harm some people now the point is if i could just go to respond and then yeah. maybe we get more comments on this you see, the, I think that the point I was trying to make from my presentation is that BDS ultimately is a political uh, tool. It's, it's something, it's, it's about politics, it's not about law BDS. I mean, it's, it doesn't review rights, it doesn't consider what are people's rights and is the harm done proportionate, you know, to, in proportion to some legitimate aim as human rights law would, for instance. It doesn't do that. It's purely a political tool. I told you, I've said that anti-discrimination law is a big issue because there, there, there is, there are anti-discrimination laws that are meant to protect people from being discriminated against. And I'm saying that's the fuzzy area, that's the grey area which doesn't have a simple answer, basically. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Like, yeah. it, 